Introduction to Personal Finance. My name is Professor Jody Lekhevich and I will be your instructor this semester. We created this video to pro provide you with comprehensive orientation about the course. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe the most important course topics, the overall course structure, the various types of textbook options available to you, as well as other course resources, the overall layout of the course in Moodle and how to navigate it, the additional websites Connect and Learn Smart, all the course assignments, the standard methods of communication, and finally, how to seek help during the semester when you need it. In this class, we cover several personal financial planning topics that, are, that you are likely to encounter in your life or perhaps have already encountered. We start with budgeting and money management. While this topic may seem elementary, it is at the core of good financial management. If you don't know where your money is going, then you'll have difficulty achieving your financial goals. Next, we cover the time value of money. At its core, it's really just understanding that money available at the present time, today, is worth more than the same amount of money in the future due to its potential earning capacity. Following that, we cover a number of topics, including debt and credit, taxes, real estate and housing, insurance, investments, retirement planning, and we end the semester with a course on happiness and money. The course is structured into 12 weekly modules covering 12 different topics. Each week, you have a series of activities and assignments to complete. All assignments for the week are due by 11.59 on Sunday evening, so please plan accordingly. The required textbook for this course is in the course outline. You have several purchasing options. You can buy a physical copy at the bookstore that comes with Connect Access. You can buy it used, but then you still have to buy access to Connect. You can also buy an ebook that comes with Connect Access. There's also an option to buy a loose leaf copy of the textbook in addition to the ebook or addition to the Connect Access that you purchased. All of these options are explained in the slide deck and the course details section of Moodle's. You know yourself better than anyone, so choose the option that meets your needs. There are two websites that we're going to use for this course. The primary website is the course Moodle site. This is where you'll find lecture slides, links to online recorded lectures, the budgeting assignment, all course and all course updates, information, and communications. Please confirm that the correct email is listed for you in the Moodle system. This course is online, so all communication will be through Moodle, and announcements will be sent as emails. It is your responsibility to stay on top of all announcements and make sure that you are receiving the updates. The second website is Connect. This is where all of your assignments will be. You have weekly problem sets and Learn Start, model, Learn Start reading modules to complete each week, and those are both available on Connect. To get started, I suggest you first log in to Moodle and look around the course website. At the very top, you'll see a link for course announcements. Make sure you check here frequently for any updates and important information. Below that, you'll see a link for course details. This has the course outline, an FAQ section, the course textbook information, and a link to the course discussion forum. Any questions about the course should be posted here on the course discussion forum. Please don't email me directly about these types of questions. Posting to the forum will get you a quicker response and will help other students. You'll see that each week, has, each week has its own module in Moodle. If you click on the module for the week, you'll see it's broken into two sections. The first contains, contains links to content, the PowerPoint slides, and recorded lectures. The second contains links to two assignments in Connect. If you click on the link, you'll be taken to the Connect website. Once you've registered, you'll see the Connect is set up in a similar manner to Moodle with assignments listed for each week. If you click on, if you click on the week, you'll see links to the Learn Smart Reading assignment, the weekly homework assignments, and a practice quiz. The quiz is not graded, it's just for you to test your knowledge as you go through the course. The Learn Smart assignment is an interactive reading assignment. As you read, you'll be prompted with questions about the content. You'll proceed through once you've answered the questions correctly. This helps to reinforce the learnings from the readings. Each week you have a weekly assignment due. The weekly assignments will have anywhere between 5 and 12 problems. Some will be calculations, and some will be short answer or essay. 
The calculation questions are algorithmic, meaning that each student will be given a different set of numbers for, for basically the same problem. Think of these assignments as traditional homework assignments. There are 11 total assignments throughout the semester, uh, and the highest 10 will count. That means that you can skip one or drop the lowest score. There will be two exams this semester, and what both will be held on campus. Students who live more than three hours away from campus, three hours travel time away from campus, can apply to write their exams off-site at a location with an exam center. Please contact me directly if this applies to you. The midterm date is in the course outline. The room location will be posted once it's announced. You can bring one double-sided sheet of notes, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, uh, and again, that can be double-sided. You also have a budgeting assignment this semester. This assignment will require that you track all of your income and spending for one month. A report is due at the start of the following month on those activities. All details and due dates can be found in the budgeting assignment module in Moodle. In terms of communication, please check the course outline, the FAQ section, and any discussion forums before emailing me about an issue with the course. My email policy is to respond within three business days and I don't email on the weekends. The class discussion forum is where all questions about the course should go. Of course, if your question is of a private or a sensitive nature, then please email me directly please keep up to date on the course. The course announcement section and discussion forums should be used by you frequently. If you need help in the course, first determine what type of help that you need or what kind of question that you have. Is it about a specific topic we're covering, homework or an assignment? If so, then please post your question to the discussion forum for that week's topic. Is it about the course, but more general in nature, like a question about an exam or a technical issue? If so, then please post that to the course discussion forum. And again, I want to iterate, if it is a personal or sensitive issue, please email me directly. Otherwise, please post everything to the discussion forums. 5% of your final grade will be assessed based on your participation in the, in the discussion boards. There is no specific metric for you to meet, just try to check in regularly help your classmates, and post when you have questions. I look forward to the course getting underway. I hope you enjoy the course and have a productive, a productive and enjoyable semester.